Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how to create a modern tabbed interface by using the gallery control. The tab selection will refine the data in a connected gallery control. The tab will also show the count of the number of items for that selection. This will be fully responsive by design. So let's check this video out in action. My Power App has a gallery control that showcases data from a data source. In this scenario, it's a table in Microsoft Dataverse, an employee record table that includes details about employee data. One of the columns here is a department column that is of type choice. The gallery showcases the data from that table. And in the top container is another gallery that lists out all the departments. The end user can select a specific department. This will in turn filter the results of the gallery to only show the data related to that specific department. The results is of employees in the accounting department. The filter tab also showcases the count of the number of employees in this department. If I click engineering, it applies the filtering for the engineering department and so on and so forth. There is also an all option, which will list out all the employees across all the departments. Now for the gallery design style, I have done a full video on that topic. Let's focus on how to build this tabbed experience. In my screen that leverages the responsive container controls, I have this main container with the gallery connected to that table. And in the header container is where I would like to place my tabbed buttons. Now the container, if I head to its properties, if we explore the color property, the color is set to the dark background. I have also added a solid border color gray. Border radius is set to 50. So that gives these curved edges. Now in this container, I will go and insert a gallery control and I will pick the horizontal gallery option. The gallery control minimum height I will set as parent dot height. So notice the gallery sits within the header container. I'll rename this gallery. I'll call it gal tab. Gallery has a property called template size. I'll set it as 250. In this gallery, there are some controls that were added as part of the gallery template. I'll select them and remove. Select the gallery, edit. In the gallery, I'll insert the button control. Note, I'm using modern controls. And to enable modern controls, you need to ensure that in your app settings updates, you have modern controls and themes turned on. This is the modern button control. I'll adjust its height and width by simply selecting the control and adjusting its height and width. The gallery items property. This needs to be the data coming from my Department column in my employee record table. Department is a choice column, so I can use the following function. Choices of my table dot the name of my column, which is department. In my data source, I have five choices for department. 
That's why the gallery shows five buttons. The button controls text property. I'll set it as this item dot value. So you can see the buttons listing out the choices of my department column. Now when the button is clicked on select, I'll go ahead and set a variable. I'll call it where department selected and I will set the value as this item dot value. This variable will hold the selected value of the button that the user clicks. And to highlight which department the user selected, I'll change the style of the button. The modern button control, style and theme, type is currently set as primary. I also have an option for transparent. Notice here, the button style changes. The color that's being associated here with my modern controls is based upon the theme that is set for my Power App. I created this purple colored modern theme. Hence, those colors. The type, I'll use primary if it is the selected button. If not, I'll use transparent. So for the type property, I'll use the following formula. If where department selected is equal to this item dot value, in that case, you show button canvas dot appearance dot primary comma else button appearance transparent. Notice the variable is empty right now, so nothing selected. But the moment I click any specific department value, that button lights up. And this button control also has properties for border radius. I'll go and give it border radius of 20. So you can see the selected one shows this nice rounded border. To show the count of the number of items for that specific department, we'll use the count if function. With respect to Dataverse as a data source, count if is a delegable function. For my button controls text property, append to this, so I'll use ampersand. And I'll add a condition if where department selected is equal to this item dot value. In that case, count if, count if from my employee record table where department, that's my choice column, is equal to where department selected. Close the count if function, close the if function. Notice it gives me the number of employees that are in the accounting department. I'll want to put a space between the department name and the count. So where I'm showing the count, Right before this, in double quotes, round bracket, ampersand for concatenation, where count of ends, ampersand, double quotes, I close that round bracket. Accounting selected, count is 99. Engineering, finance, HR, IT. Now for the selections that I make, in the tab, I would like to filter the data in my gallery. My gallery controls items property, filter my table where department, that's the choice column, is equal to where department selected. Human resources, these are all the employees in the human resources department. Here's engineering, and so on and so forth. Now, how do I show an all option? In my header container, where I have my gallery, I'll select the container and insert the modern button control. 
this button i'll reorder at the start alignment in container i'll pick center i'll give it the same border radius to make it rounded give it some more height and give it some more width my tabbed gallery template size i'll reduce to 200 this new button that i added text i'll say all when this is selected i'll set that variable where department selected to blank notice when i click on it the gallery does not show any data well that's because that variable is blank and when it's blank i would like to show all the data so where i've written my filter condition for department equal to where department selected right before i'll say where department selected equal to blank or department is equal to where department selected so notice here it shows all now accounting engineering and so and so forth now all is still selected that's because for this special button that i added under style and theme type i'll set it as if where department selected is blank meaning all is selected so i'll pick primary else transparent now notice it only lights up when all is selected and to show the count text property all ampersand if where department selected is blank then count if employee record true meaning get me the count for all the records and i'll go and put this in brackets there we go now i get this nice tabbed design experience which allows the user to filter the data in the gallery the tab highlights the selection and also shows the count of the number of items you can add more things to this for example the button control also has an icon property for all i'm using the icon globe for my gallery buttons like accounting engineering notice the icon is changing for the icon property i'm using the function switch switch on the value of the item my department column in my employee record table because it's choice there will be enum values if the choice is finance then show the money icon if it's human resources people and so and so forth so that's how it changes the icon plus i have built this entire tab experience to be fully responsive this gallery template size notice i have not hard coded a value rather i am using a formula home screen that's the name of my screen dot size the size property gives us values from 1 to 4 depending upon the size of the device where the user is running this app on also the buttons width property is parent dot template width so it will change depending upon the real estate available the button has a layout property here i am checking the size of my screen if the screen size is 3 or 4 3 meaning tablet device held vertically and 4 meaning your desktop experience in that case if this is the selected tab then i show the icon right before the text if it's not the selected tab i don't show the icon and if the screen size is 1 or 2 meaning on mobile devices in that case i only show the icon 
Let's check it out in action. This is my desktop screen size. Let's change this to a tablet device held horizontally. You can see how, depending upon the real estate, the button sizes are changing. I'll change the orientation. Tablet device held vertically, screen size 2. Now, I only show the icons. Mobile device held vertically. I only show the icons. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.